All right, I'm out here today. I got to do some maintenance to the uh, Heister D4E winch at the back of my D4 dozer. And this here is one of the side plates. This is actually the side plate for the passenger side that covers the brake. And it was pretty, pretty chewed up when I got it. Somebody had a bit of an oops there. This whole plate was actually bowed. I had to bend it back. But I got to get uh, that taken care of. Some of these other high spots knocked down. And then I got to wire wheel everything around here. So when I put RTV on it, it actually seals. So I'm going to get this taken care of while I'm up here in the garage and then we'll go out back and get the uh, mating surfaces of where this plate and the other plate bolt to cleaned up and uh, see if we can get it sealed back up. All right. Well, this inspection cover goes on that guy there. Now, this winch is a is a D4E heister. This is actually one model winch newer than what was intended for this machine. Although it does bolt up just fine. It was intended to do that. So it's it's nothing that's been jury rigged to try and make it work. It's the original draw bar for this tractor. In the heister book, it, it shows you where to cut out the back side of the draw bar, slide that over, re-weld it, how to re-weld it, etc., etc. I bought this guy used. Wow, nine years ago. somewhere in that uh, that ballpark I haven't actually used it yet I gotta I don't know if you guys can see down in there look well, the control linkages I used a bunch of uh, uh, 5 8 stainless all thread the cables for this are like three hundred dollars a piece and it uses a very specific set of hand levers to uh, control it, which are made out of unobtainium. And I'm not going to buy a whole nother winch just to get some control levers. So 
it is what it is but uh yeah let's get this cleaned up All right, I'm gonna spread some RTV out on this. The only RTV I have is Ultra Black. It does just about everything I need it to do. So, we get RTV on this side, RTV on the other side. Let it tack up for a little bit, and then uh, put the side plates on. Now this side is dry. It's not supposed to have any oil or anything in it, unless of course the uh, seals are leaking. RTV on this side is mostly just to keep the elements out. This side actually houses uh, fluid in it. It fills up here, level check here, 
drain there. You got one of the drive gears there. And then you got a great big bull gear. It sits in here. And there's another gear back behind this plate that actually drives the winch. And then there's another gear. Well, you can kind of see that big bull gear down there. But that guy there is your engage and disengage. For the winch. All right, so the side plates, I'm using stainless bolts. There's no, no real force or anything being pushed against it, so there's no reason to use grade eight. I don't use grade five on anything ever, period. Or grade two, I, it's either grade eight or stainless, so. Two inches. Two inches. Remember that measurement. Two inches for this uh, threaded shaft. That's going to be very, very important here down the road for another project for this machine. I'll explain that project later on, but remember that dimension. Make sure you anti-seize everything. You'll thank yourself down the road.
Okay, we'll let that uh, finish curing. I have a plug for yeah, yucky for that. We'll install that tomorrow, and then we'll put in. Uh, yeah, I got to recheck the book, but I think it's either three or five gallons of gear lube. But uh, we'll do that tomorrow after this RTV has had time to to uh, set. So I'll we'll make this stuff here picked up and. I'm going to go show you guys what I picked up today for free. I think I got an idea what I'm going to do, do for it, but I got to do some math. But uh, yeah, let me get this picked up and I will show you guys what I got today.